Tsuta Ramen in Tokyo, Japan by Chef Onishi Yuki is the very first ramen house in the world that has been awarded a coveted Michelin star in 2015. This ramen specialty restaurant has already expanded internationally to Singapore, Taiwan, and Hong Kong and has been franchised to Manila in December 2017 by Ricky D's Foodie Global Concepts Group, who also hold the Philippine master franchises for one Michelin star dim sum restaurant, Tim Ho Wan from Hong Kong, and one Michelin star hawker stall, Hawker Chan from Singapore, and successfully set up a celebrity chef Todd English food hall amongst their in-house concepts, Mesa Filipino Modern, Kai, amongst others. This branch seats 40 guests as compared to the 9-seater in Tokyo that only serves 150 bowls per day. Hi everybody, we just arrived at Suta Ramen here in Bonifacio Global City. This is a one-star Michelin ramen house from Tokyo, Japan. And I'm so excited to try their uh, original shoyu ramen with truffle oil. This comes with four pieces of chashu, egg, Tuta officially serves the most expensive ramen in the Philippines as a bowl of their Charshu Ajitama Shoyu Soba costs 620 pesos or 12 US dollars, more than the daily minimum wage. But is it worth working all day for one bowl of ramen? The answer is a resounding hell yeah, as it is one of the tastiest must try ramens for all noodle heads out there. In this video, we feature all of their ramens. But our all-time favorite is their Charshu Ajitama Shoyu Soba, which has four slices of chashu, flavored egg, bamboo shoots, leek and truffle, pureed in truffle oil. From their menu, we would also recommend their Miso Soba, Aburi Niku, Rosu Charshu, Endabame, Gyoza, Karaage, Radomeshi, and Kamo Paitan. The secret of Tsuta Ramen's success is their dashi or Japanese soup stock, which is a combination of asari clams, fish including mackerel, anchovy, and katakuchi with kombu and katsuoboshi and whole chicken stock, which is then combined with the tare or sauce of your choice, including shoyu, shio, and miso. I'm about to dig into their Charshu Ajitama Shoyu Soba. This is a 600 peso ramen, probably the most expensive ramen you can buy in Manila, but it comes with four slices of Charshu. It has uh, one whole egg. So we'll see how it is on the inside of this egg. And of course, truffle paste and bamboo shoots. We're gonna start off with the broth. It's a clear, very light broth, savory, 
Uh, you taste their clams, chicken, and fish. Very light. Beautiful broth. Mm -hmm. With some truffle oil in it as well. So they make their noodles in house here. Mm. Slippery, bouncy, perfect texture. Wow. Let's see how the egg is. Oh, wow. That ajitama was cooked perfectly. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Runny at the center. Mm. Now, last but not least, we have to try the chashu, which looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's not a fatty chashu, but it's definitely been roasted well. And having it with that truffle paste that they put on top. Wow. Very delicate. It practically melts in your mouth. Unbelievable texture. This is officially one of my favorite ramens here in Metro Manila. I'm definitely gonna come back for more. But I also ordered the uh, gyoza and uh, another roast pork dish. Cheers. So Alexandra's trying this one star Michelin ramen. I think it tastes good. Is it the best soup you've drank? Yeah. Oh wow. It's even like the best soup. Alexandra's raving about it. What makes it so yummy? Um, I don't know. How's your ramen so far? It's good. Tasty. How about the noodles? Sorry. Well, that char shu ajitama shoyu soba was so amazing, I had to have another ramen. So this time I ordered the char shu ajitama miso soba. So this one comes with four slices of char shu, flavored egg, red onion, corn, bean sprouts, hot sauce, and porcini mushroom oil, and watercress. So I'll try the broth first. It's a very rich and flavorful miso broth, but I can't taste any porcini oil. I wish they put more porcini oil. It's a heavier soup than the original shoyu soba. And the ingredients are slightly different. This is as red onion, the corn, and bean sprouts instead of the menma, and also has a little bit of watercress. So this miso soba is a very interesting take on the miso ramen. I think I would still uh, highly recommend the original Charshu Ajitama Shoyu Soba if you want the true Tsuta ramen experience. Up next, the Charshu Ajitama Shio Soba. So this one has a, a salt-based broth. Uh, let's try that first. Mm. It's almost as tasty as the shoyu, uh, enjoying it. And then aside from that, the difference is it has a uh, leek and green olive puree. So that's this green stuff to enhance the flavor of this lighter uh, salt-based broth. This comes also with the four slices of char shu. The main difference is really just the broth and the green olive. So let's try that. Mm. It's interesting, something different, but I think I still prefer the original shoyu soba. Cheers. 
Cheers. Up next, the aburi niku. This is charred pork cubes uh, in onion sauce and garnished with watercress and leeks. So let's get under that. That is the pork cube. Mm -hmm. All in meat. Very flavorful and tender. Wow. This goes very well with the ramen. Cheers. Up next, I order the rosu charshu for side dish, and that is the roasted charshu in a butter sauce. It's supposed to be garnished with uh, leeks and watercress, but today it's something else. Same delicious char shoe that's on the ramen, but it's in a butter sauce. Very tasty if you would like a side of meat. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, up next I'm trying their pan-fried gyoza. They're quite massive, these uh, gyoza dumplings that they make. Lots of ingredients on the inside. Hmm. Very meaty and tasty. Very well seasoned, the, the gyoza. I wish the skin was a little bit crispier. But in terms of the texture, it's on the thick side, but tasty. I'd order this with every bowl of ramen I eat here. Cheers. Up next, chicken karaage, served with calamansi and a wasabi mayo. It's fresh from the deep fryer. Super crispy, boneless, absolutely delicious. Cheers. How's that roast duck? Because it's not regular char shoe. It's uh, roast duck in there. Mm. 
really nice. Not super, super soft, but... Do you prefer the original or this duck innovation? It depends what you're craving for. Guys, if you need to use the restroom, they also have an authentic Japanese toilet. Electronic, baby. Look at all these functions. Join us for the Who's Cooking Grand Reveal Party held at the Blue Leaf Filipinas on July 27, 2019. This is an exclusive culinary event by the Blue Leaf Events Venue in partnership with Our Awesome Planet to launch the first-of-its-kind collaboration between 11 of Manila's sought-after chefs and the Blue Leaf Partner Caterers. The culinary collaborators then embark on a gastronomic journey to produce a...